Happening today, thousands will return to work at Ford plants across the country. The American automaker is eager to pick production back up, but not without new safety precautions. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside the Ford assembly plant in South Deering, one of two in the Chicago area set to open its doors today. Eric. Aaron, Ryan, workers are already arriving here at the assembly plant in South Deering, and there's certainly been a mixed mood in the air. Now, I say that because I've talked to a few workers as they were walking into the facility behind me. Some say they are excited to be back after close to two months off work. Others tell me they're feeling pretty reluctant as they walk through those doors, realizing that they're some of the first people here to return. This assembly plant in South Deering, where the Ford Explorer and police SUVs are designed, used to have three shifts a day, but with this restart, only two will be returning. The same goes for the stamping facility in Chicago Heights. Ford's already reopened facilities in China, and a restart is also well underway in Europe. But with COVID-19 still a major concern, the American automaker says the restart here in the States will not be happening without new safety rules. Some of those new protocols include face masks, thermal scanning for high temperatures, and daily employee surveys that screen for symptoms. And back out here live as workers continue to arrive over the bridge above me, as well as walking and driving in. We are learning there are hundreds of people returning to the two plants here in the Chicago area. About 12,000 workers across North America expected to return at some point this week, including two dozen plants across the U.S. There's also two in Canada that are set to open today and two in Mexico that are still pending government approval. For now, I'm Eric Cox reporting live in Chicago's South Deering neighborhood, CBS 2 News. Eric,